suicidal and depression demon in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I can do all things. Come on, help me somebody. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Yeah, I can do all things. Not some things. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. He is our strength. He is our help. Yeah, come on, help me now. The Bible says he's a very present help in a time of trouble. Not you got to wait on it. You got to wait on FedEx. You got to wait on Amazon. You got to wait on UPS. But I'm glad that he's a very present help. He's right here, right now, in the time of trouble. You ought to be glad about that. That, that, that ought to encourage you. You ought to tell yourself, look at yourself in the mirror and say, he's a very present help. Yeah, he's a very, very present help. He's right here, right now. You don't have to wait. Uh, the songwriter said, don't wait until the battle is over. Shout right now. Amen. Don't wait till the battle is over. You can shout right now. You can give God praise in advance. Then he's already worked it out. Look at your neighbor and say, he's already worked it out. Already worked it out. Whatever it is. Whatever you're going through, he's already worked it out. And we just waiting on the process. Hello, somebody. Just the process. And after a while, you look back at the songwriter and say, My soul looks back and wonders how I got over. I wish somebody would help me this morning. I, I don't know about your soul, but my soul has a tendency to look back and see where he brought me from. Brought me out of darkness into this marvelous light. Through many dangers, tall and slant. I've already come. You know how I got through? Grace. Look at your neighbors and nothing but the grace of God that brought me thus far. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, we do thank you. We glorify you. We lift you up. And you're worthy of all praise, all honor, and all glory on this morning as we're moving through the middle of this month. Half of this month is already gone. And we're looking forward to 2020. Cover us with your blood. Strengthen us where we're weak. Build us up where we're torn down. Cover us with your blood right now in the name of Jesus. Stand with us. Stand beside us. But most of all, stand up in us. When the enemy comes in like a flood, you said you lift up a standing. And so we pray right now that you would give us the strength face our challenges. Give us the strength to walk through the fire. Give us the strength to walk through the flood. You said you would never leave us nor forsake us and we're trusting in you right now. Now bless the hands that we hold. Their precious hands. Their hands that have been through difficult days, troubling days, dying days. But thank you Lord that you brought them through anyhow. You kept us when we couldn't keep ourselves. All day and all night. We had angels watching over us. You kept us, Lord. Put food on our table. Clothes on our back. Shoes on our feet. When they said we wasn't going to make it, we made it anyhow. Not because of our goodness, but because you've been good to us. Now, Lord. Now, Lord. We ask you to give us the power, that doomless power, that dynamite power, to fight when we don't feel like fighting, walk when we don't feel like walking, sing when we don't feel like singing, pray when we don't feel like praying, and when we all said and done, when you call us from labor to the Lord, let your words be unto us well. servant, been faithful over a few things, now make us ruler over much. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. And we thank you for it right now. Now keep 
keep us, Lord. Strengthen us, Lord. Some that are sick, Lord God, we ask that you move down the corridors of the hospital room. Touch, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. You know each one by name. You know the room number. You know the doctor. You know the nurse. And most of all, you are the chief physician. Now move with super room. Let your healing angels sweep over and touch right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Now thank God and give him a praise as you go back to your seat and look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor, I got a feeling.
Philippians chapter number 3 and verse number 12 just for a few moments I want to extract, I want to extract just a little something for your hearing, reading and, and your encouragement on this morning Good to see everyone here on today. I've been yeah. missing y'all. Missing you too. Thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, it's just always good to be back in the house Amen. of the Lord. Yeah. Paul writes to the church in Philippi and says these words, not that I've already attained no. or I am already perfected. See, no. so, there are people that will always try to pick at you, but even Paul said, after all that I've been through, I'm still not perfect. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And when, when your people around you see you or hear you say something that they say, I thought you was a Christian. Well, I never said I was perfect. So don't get it twisted just because uh, uh, you have this, this visual of what Christians would be. Christians are nothing more than people who have found the solution to their salvation. And in doing so, have also found and acknowledged that there is a Christ that forgives all. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. So when people want to look at you and say, ah, I'm just Christian. I never said I was perfect. Amen. 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 All right. But he says this. And I want to extract from it, but I press on. That I may lay hold to that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Lord have mercy. I'm grabbing something that's grabbing me back. And see in the text, it said, I'm laying hold of that which Christ has laid hold of me. Look at your neighbor real quick and just tell him, neighbor, press on. Press on. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank you so very much, Father. We thank you. And we never want to acknowledge what the devil has done without glorifying what you do. Now we thank you. And let the words of our mouth and meditation of our heart be acceptable in our sight, O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Hide us behind the cross that we see more of thee and less of me. Mm, and we will forever give you the praise. Thank you for this choice chance that we may have a conversation with you that you may converse with your people. Mm. And bring us to a better day in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Amen. I, 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 I really grown, Bishop, uh, good to see you this morning. Amen. Uh, to love uh, the church of Philippi. Hallelujah. Because it was a very, very good church. It was a seaport yeah. uh, city mm -hmm. uh, that was a place of a lot of trade and commerce. Yeah, yeah. And the central theme of this letter is only in Christ are real unity and joy possible. Only yeah. in Christ. Mm -hmm. People are looking for love in all the wrong places. Oh, yeah. But it's said that only in unity yes, yes. and joy. Mm -hmm. You got to put them both together. You got to unify your joy and then put your joy with your unity yes. that you will have mm -hmm. a real, real, real good relationship. Some people have a relationship but with things. Yes, yes. And things come like people. Mm -hmm. Amen. They come and I wish I had a witness here now. There, 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 there are times we place too much emphasis on the wrong things in, in trying uh, to appease first people that really don't care nothing about you. 
going to say that again. There, there are people that you try to impress that I don't care what you do, what you have will never be impressed with what you have because most of them are already jealous of you. They wish that they had what you had. They wish that they could do what you do. They wish they could be who you are, but the truth of the matter is Nobody wants to go through what you had to go through with other people. Yeah. 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 Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe this, I'm in the right church now. Oh. There, there, are, there are people that only see oh. your glory, yes. Yes. but they don't know your story. Oh. They don't even have a clue yes. of what it took you to get to where you are right now. So stop. Tell yourself, talk to yourself, and say, yeah, I'm yeah. not going to try to impress nobody no more because they really don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You spend too much time, too much time yeah. walking. And even, even now, social media has gotten so, so ridiculous because we spend too much time, those that are on social media, looking for likes. Say what you got to say, be who you are, and don't make no difference who you like it or who don't yeah, like it. Yeah. And you'd be surprised, the very people who you think should like it are the very folk that don't like hallelujah, it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, yes, hallelujah. Uh, let, me, let me put it like this. There, there are people that follow you. Yeah. And let me say this so it be clear, especially those that you are looking by way of live stream. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There, are people that follow you yes. okay. and they say one thing to you yes. but they do something else behind your back let me put it this way don't ever stop and think that the people that talk to you and smile in your face are not the same people going to somebody else talking about yes. you What Paul says, uh, don't make no difference. If you really want some joy, mm -hmm. you got to learn how to press on. Yeah, yeah. He tells us, he tells us, uh, with Christ uh -huh. as your model or your role model of humility. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people that say that they're humble, but they're not humble. They're just as prideful and boastful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And puffed up. If you had a pen, you could stick it in them and they bust because they got so much air in them. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but Christ exemplified humility and service. Yeah, yeah. And not only that, with having humility and service, yeah. you can enjoy a oneness of purpose, a oneness of attitude, a oneness of goal and labor. Yeah. Oneness, oneness. Yeah. You don't need no crowd to have no party with Jesus. Y'all yeah. yeah. think it's in the crowd, honey. Uh, 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 Sometimes the crowd is the worst folks to be around. Let me give you an yeah. example. There was a woman that had an issue. Yeah. Her just issue was blood. Everybody got an issue. And yeah. for some folks, their issues have an issue. Yeah. But her issue was a blood issue. Yeah. And she was determined to save Jesus. It says, if I can just touch. Yeah. The H E M. You ain't got to touch H I M to get to Him. If I can just touch the Him. And look at what she had to do. She had to crawl yeah. through yeah. the crowd. That, that's another yeah. message. Yeah. Right Sometimes you got to crawl through the crowd in order to get to him. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, 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 let me let me let me give you a, 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 a great illustration. There was a pool called Bethesda. Hallelujah. And there was a man that had been waiting there 39 years yeah, 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 yeah. and said that um, uh, uh, I was waiting. I've been waiting. Yeah, yeah. And how long have you been waiting? And you've been waiting and waiting. 
it's not that you're not in the right place, but you're not making enough attempt. You, you're not pressing on. He said, I've been waiting here for a move. Because once a year, the angel comes down and troubles the water. But, but every time I try to get in, everybody, somebody else gets in before me. I, I, I can't get nobody to help me roll me in. They won't push me in. They won't throw me in. They won't drag me in. So I'm just sitting here waiting. I've I become so accustomed to waiting because I know every time I try to make a step, somebody gets in before me. Look at what Jesus said. Jesus said, uh, 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 listen here. Take up, Pick up your bed. Your bed. Yeah. Yeah. And what? Uh, and get out of here. Walk. Some of y'all are still laying on your bed and Jesus has told you, you get up and take that bed because I don't want nobody yes. to come behind you getting comfortable yes. in the bed you slept in. Yes. Some people, some people revel and get yes. getting comfortable because of where you were. They think if I do the same thing you do the way you did it, the same thing will happen to me. No, that's why each one of us have our own individual yes. testimony. Yes. I can't be you. I, I, you can't be me. There's some stuff that you've gone through and have been through that would make me shudder. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's why you went through it because God knew you could handle it. Look at your neighbor and tell him you can handle it. You can handle it. Oh, that's right. That, that's kind of quiet. Now, look at them, bow your back and put your chest out and say it like you got confidence. You can handle it. After moving, after moving, listen, listen, this, 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 this is this, this is this is the blessing, good news of the God. After moving yes. away from Bethesda, there was a blind man yes, yes. by the name of Bartimaeus. Hallelujah. Now let's look at this. He's blind and can't see. Amen. Amen. But he heard. That Jesus was passing by. Yes, yes. See, sometimes you don't have to see everything to believe it. You can just hear because somebody's making yes. some noise about Jesus. That's why you say I got the victory. Somebody got to make some noise in order for people to know that God is still God sitting on the throne and can do everything but say it. Come on, somebody. Somebody ought to holler out sometimes. We're too quiet, we got too cute, and got too sedate, and got too bushy, and we were too afraid to let somebody know. But I remember back in the day, if you were with somebody, and one of them good old mothers of the church, or even your mama, and she just was going down that aisle just to humming and, 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 and thinking and humming and looking to see what was on the shelf, and when she went to reach up for something, instead of reaching up for what she was going to get, she said, ah, Hallelujah. You see people in the store looking around, and then you hear somebody on the other aisle say, Thank you. Because they heard somebody giving God praise and glory, and it became a contagious thing to the point where people at the cash register were looking around to see what was going on. Because they didn't know it. it may have been a praise break to break off in the grocery store. We got a little too cute for that now, you know. I don't want anybody to know I have a degree and I drive a nice car and live in a very influential neighborhood. So when I go to church, I have my own way of expressing how I love Jesus. But when the Lord pulls you out of something that you never thought you could get out of, it ain't no harm in hollering and screaming and giving God to glory. That Jesus was there, and the crowd tried to shut him up. Yes, yes. He said, Jesus, the son of David, have mercy on me. Yes. Sometimes you got to shout above your crowds. Yes. 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 Crowd to shut up. I need Jesus. I, I can't see him, but I know he's somewhere close by. I can't see him, but I can feel his presence somewhere close by. I can't see him with my natural eyes, but with a spiritual eye, I see him walking through the midst of the crowd, and he's got a blessing, and I'm next in line. 
fix in line for my blessing. You got to learn how to press on, like Paul said. I'm not worried about what happened. I'm only concerned about what he's doing right now. And he said, press on. I'm going to press on. I'm not going to stay in the same place. I'm not going to allow you to keep me bottled up and compartmentalized to make you feel good about yourself. I've got to get to Jesus no matter what it takes. So press on, my brothers and sisters, as we come to the close of a year that has been difficult. I don't know about you, but there have been some difficult and dark days, but I'm pressing on. I wish I had a witness up in here. There have been some friends that I thought were friends and family that I thought was family and finances that I thought was financially lucrative for me, but I only found out uh, that they wasn't on my side. And I had to press on in spite of the hurt and the pain. I had to press on in spite of my tears running down my face. Like David said, my tears became my meat because I thought that the people that I was hanging with was in my corner. Only to find out that there was nothing more than like the old Jays would say. They smiled in my face and all the time wanted to take my place. They were nothing but backstabbers. And you know, it ain't nothing worse than somebody that you're loyal to, somebody that you've taken a lot of stuff for, and somebody that you went to war for, only to find out that it ain't nothing but a backstabber, smiling in your face, but stabbing you all in your path. It reminds me of the king by the name of Julius Caesar. They had plotted and planned to kill him. But it wasn't so much the other fellas that hurt him, but it was the one that was closest to him. And like Jesus said through David, it was not my enemies that did me any harm, but it was my own familiar friend that sat at my table and had nerve to eat my meat and drink drink have also lifted up their heels against me. It's not the one that you don't think would do it. It's not the one that you know would do it. But it's not the, it's always the one that you said you should never do it. And when old man Caesar walked through and they began to stick him and stab in him, he looked over to his supposed to be friend and supposed to be confident by the name of Brutus. And he looked at Brutus and said, et tu Brute. That's a Latin term and you too, Brutus. So you gotta be careful. There's some Brutuses in your way. There's some Brutuses on your job. There's some Brutuses in your house. There's some Brutuses that call themselves your friend. But if they ever get a chance to stick you, they will stick you in your heart. And I tell you, even in your heart, keep on pressing on. Pull the dagger out. Wipe the blood off. Put the knife in your pocket. And said you thought it was for you. But God be for good. I'm going to press on. No matter what comes my way. Somebody say, I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still pressing and praying as I'm on my ground. Lord, lift my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on tables. Heaven land. Because 
says that's only the pit I go to the rock that's high in eyes. I go to the rock of my salvation. He says, I will heal you. I can heal you. I'm still healing you. Press on. Press on. Press on, my brothers. Press on, my sister. Keep your faith. Ain't no time to give up now. My coach and my mother would tell me a winner never quits. And a quitter never wins. So you got to press on. I've seen games pulled out. Look like everybody in the stadium was leaving. Because it looks like the team is going to lose. But somehow, some way, there's a thing called a comeback. Some of y'all don't even know God has just set you up for a comeback because it's going to be Him that gets the glory out of the comeback. And they're going to look and say, How did they do it? I'll tell you how I did. I kept pressing. Jesus is next, Lord. I'll follow you. I don't know where I'm going. You know the way. And as Job says, he knows the way that I take. I don't know how you take, but he knows the way that I take. And he's going to take me and lead me into the places of righteousness. And there's another thing I'll tell you. Some folk, you might have to drop off along the way. Because everybody can't go where you go. Everybody can't see what you're about to see. Everybody can't have what God is going to give you. I say that again. Everybody can't have what God, excuse me, I know this country fit to, but that's where I feel is what he fit to give. I know in English vernacular, I was supposed to say what God is getting ready to give you. But I have to say it how I feel it. He fit to give you something that everybody can't have. But you have to keep on. Press it on. Press on. Yes, press on. When your economics don't look good, keep pressing on. Keep trusting God. Right, right. When your family's acting crazy and the yeah. dog and the cat and the rat is acting yeah. fool, keep pressing on. Yeah. When your job looks like it's going crazy and they, they promote everybody, but you stay faithful because God will do this. God will take you from them and give you to somebody that will appreciate your time and your gifts. And not only that, pay you more for it. Yeah. And I'll give you another little secret. He'll pay you more and you have to work less. Yeah. Press on. Everybody be looking around, where is she? Where is he? Oh, they're over there. How did they do that? How did they get over there? Did anybody know them? Who recommended them? It wasn't your recommendation. Man. Jesus had already recommended them. He had already given you the interview and had you approved and said, guess what? My favor goes further than your finance. I will bless you. Going out. I'll bless you. Coming in. Bless you in the field. Bless you in the city. Bless you everywhere you go. And then you can do like Fred Hammond said, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And you don't have to be ashamed of it. Tell us, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Yes, I'm blessed. I, I don't feel good, but I'm blessed. Yeah. Yeah. Some folks need to get up this morning. Yeah. 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 I'm blessed. Yeah. Got aches and pains. Yeah. But I'm blessed. Yeah. 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 Father, we thank for the day. Told your servant Paul to tell us to press on. He said, I'm pressing on. I'm going to press on. And in spite of it, I'm going to press on. Things that I don't like, but you already have them under control. So I'm going to press on. Some people that I thought I could depend on, I didn't say trust them, I said depend on them. 
you said trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding all of our ways and knowledge. You would, you would direct our path. But there were some people that I was loyal to. Yeah. And they were deceiving, deceivers yeah. with evil intent. Yeah. Right. I don't charge the Lord. What I do is I'm thankful that you let me see the snake before we pick it. Real quick. 